You can make more sales, you can make more money, and you can get a whole bunch of leads if you just do this one thing. Make more offers. What does that mean? If you are a small business owner or you're a content creator who wants to grow or create even a business off of your content, you're gonna wanna watch this because really, that's all there is to it. Make more offers. And what is an offer anyway? Well, an offer is two things. It is one, a promise. It's two, a price. It's just a promise with a price. And in this video, I'm gonna break down what makes a good promise, how do you set the price on this sort of thing, and on top of that, I'm gonna break down what I mean by more because more could mean a lot. What are you talking about? First of all, the promise. Who do you want to help? And what can you do to help them? Think about that and then just make a promise. Don't overthink this part too, by the way. My very first client ever is a dog groomer. What's her promise? Her promise is super simple. She grooms dogs in her home. It's kind of a side hustle for her. And her promise is just I only groom one dog at a time. So when you drop off your dog with me, there is no waiting in line at all. 60 minutes later, you pick up your dog, your dog is happy, lovely, beautiful, and you go without the dog sitting, waiting, wandering in a cage. Are you ever coming? Is a haircut ever happening? Another client of mine, Zden, she promises you the best sleep you've ever had. Now, this is really important. You want the promise to hit on what your ideal customer really wants. Because you see the Zden, on Kickstarter, one of the things we workshopped out was the original Kickstarter pitch really talked a lot about things like the fabric, how it was made. By the way, check out Zidane in the description. The thing is, what do the people really want? Do they want a sleep den made out of totally light blocking cloth fabric? Like that's odor free. We don't want the features, we want the result. I don't want a hybrid car. I want 50 miles per gallon, right? So that's how you build a promise. Here's a promise that I'm working on. Let me know if you like it, because if you do, I might offer it to you, then it's an offer. But create a simple, easy to run online workshop that gets you a steady stream of clients from your content without hassle, complicated systems, or having thousands of subscribers. This could work with hundreds. What do you think? That is a promise for a quality offer right there. Or actually, quality depends on you, the person who's receiving it. You do kind of have to test these things, which is part of more, which is why you're gonna wanna watch to the end. But, a price. Now, how do you price this sort of thing? accurately at a price where it seems like a no-brainer to your potential clients and customers. Well, I would say there's two key parts of that. One is what is a price that's gonna make you happy? If it's not gonna make you happy, you're not gonna be happy selling it and you're doomed from the very beginning, right? So don't do that to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Price this stuff right, right? But second of all, Think about the value of that promise. Now, note that I said the promise. I didn't say think about the value of the thing that you are selling, like the raw goods, like the hours that it takes you to make it. No, 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 that's gonna make you price it inaccurately. And in fact, if you price it at less than you should, you're going to devalue it yourself. You're gonna shoot yourself in the foot right? And that's the last thing you want to do when you price this stuff. For example, for the workshop that I'm coming with, I'm saving the potential buyer from the hassle of all sorts of things, of weeks, months, or even years of trying to figure out how to make a workshop when really it's simple. At least the way I'm going to teach it is going to be, right? So that's the promise price it accordingly. What are weeks, months, or years of my ideal client's time worth? Now you don't want to price it straight up like that because woo, what's your annual income? There's the price. Nah. But what I want to do is I want to price it such that when the person buys it, 
it's gonna get them at least 10 times that value over time, right? So I'm gonna, I'm thinking of pricing it to start at $1,000. But here's the other piece, and I'm doing it right now. Come up with an offer, a product, plus a price, and then just put it out in front of your ideal client. Say, hey, I'm thinking of doing this thing. What is the thing? Well, it's, I get you this without this pain, in this amount of time, and it's gonna cost you this much. Oh, I didn't even say how much time it would take. Six weeks, six weeks, six 90 minute workshops, right? Oh, but, but I don't even need to tell you the workshop bit. I just gotta tell you how long it's gonna take, right? Six weeks. And honestly, in its purest, purest form, in its most precise form, I don't even know if I gotta tell you six weeks yet. I gotta get your interest. That's what I'm after with the offer, right? So the offer is a product with a price. And that brings us to the last piece more. But before I go too much further, I'm Ed Oyama for Meeting the First Time. I am the marketing coach that helps you make your message clear because when your message is clear, you sell a lot more. That offer that I just told you about is a work in progress. It is not ready yet, but comment if you want to be uh, first to know when it drops and I'll let you know what to do next. So comment if you want in on that. But if you want what I've currently got, what I want to invite you to the free small business growth group. It's a four week group coaching call on Zoom free. Isn't that crazy? What's the value of that? This is by the way, a different kind of offer, which I can talk about in another video. But long story short, I am a certified business made simple coach. I even got the cup. And what does that mean? I am all about the principles in this book, how to grow your small business, which is all about this one thing, how to build your business like an airplane, an airplane that'll go fast and far. So you can think of it like a book club, except even if you don't have the time to read the book, I got you, cause who's got time? And why is that important? Why is it cool that there's a book club? Because if you miss a meeting, or if you wanna go deeper, everything is gonna be there for you in the book because the book is amazing. I was certified by that organization, which was started by the author, Donald Miller. I wanna help you grow your business in a way that it will reliably grow and it will grow fast. You can learn all about that and sign up for the next meeting at the link in my description. But finally, more. What does it mean to make more offers? It means to make different offers. It means to make them often. And it means to make them so much that you can test and know what a good offer is, which is exactly what I'm talking about in the next video. So see you there.